Everybody. Hello. We are doing a little uh, vlog today at a place called Missouri Botanical Gardens and they've only been open maybe two weeks. This is like their second week. You have to make a reservation and you have to arrive at a certain time and you, uh, you have to wear your mask and then it's going to be one direction around the garden. So we'll show you that. So come along. Yep. And the best part about coming to the gardens Andy gets a charge. Oh yeah, charge for free. for free. Yep. We'll show you that. Don't forget to give us a like for this channel. Make any comments, yep. especially if you have any comments about the gardens because pretty cool place. They have displays for Christmas and um, like oh, yeah, different floral type. Garden glow. Garden glow. very cool. So, so uh, really yep. helps with our analytics with all your likes and your comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you get all the latest videos. Yep. Thanks everyone. Yep, here's the uh, free charging they give you. We have uh, three cars taking them up on it right now. Okay, as you see, Andrea's masked up. And I'm masked up, we're ready to go. I'm a bit flamingoed. stand six feet from each other now they did say when you come in you know there's a sign that says you have to keep your mask on at all times they got hand sanitizer all over and they did say we just passed it that's the last bathroom you can use for the a half hour so you can't backtrack to use the bathroom so if you would have little kids i would use it before you come <laughs> It's like a backstage pass. See, service area not open to the public. Normally you don't go this way. She was saying there was a sliding door at the end and I and I said, oh, there should be a slide. That would make it more fun. But she said I was the second person to say that. Generally, this place is packed wall-to-wall -wall people. So it's a little, it's a little muggy. It rained this morning, but it's 78 degrees. So hopefully all will be fine.
there's the uh it's called the climatron at the missouri botanical gardens not sure how old it is but it's been around for all the time i can remember you can go inside there we may have to show it to you time they have little displays that you can hit buttons and you can make each of these statues play a tune about this so it's a pretty nice setup they have it to where, you know, not only is, are they limiting how many people can show, but you're only allowed to go one direction around the park. So I think it's pretty much, you go around and then once you get back, you're done. You're done. So that's how they're gonna limit how many people are in here. Pretty cool. No backtracking. There's just a little bit of bottlenecking, but the paths are large enough. You can get by six feet or more. You can't see I'm smiling with the mask, but... But unfortunately, <laughs> you can't go in there, I'm guessing, because the paths are really, really narrow, yeah. and... But the butterflies are cool, usually. So, normally you could go in the Climatron, but yeah, we do think it's closed, because it's like uh, narrow paths and a little, you know, tighter quarters in there but what's all in the climate uh, they butterflies there's there's butterflies that fly all over they land on you there's like little bitty fountains and <clears throat> different type of plants that you can read the descriptions and different plants that you normally don't see yeah. and it's usually pretty humid in there it's like very humid and sticky and it's like a little uh terrarium yeah please practice social distancing 
Oh, they covered all the drinking fountains. Oh yeah, you can show the little map if you want. So this is the kids area where they have a fun little stagecoach. You can sit in, have your picture taken. Play area. Yep. We're not entirely sure if we could go back there, so I don't think we're going to. I don't know. We have sheep. a lot of paths that are closed off I'm guessing because they're too narrow but so far a lot of room to roam and walk through people keeping their distance we're keeping our distance So we're coming up on the Japanese garden now and I, I don't remember what month it is we'll put it in the description but they have a Japanese festival where they have all sorts of coolness I think the best part is we'll show you they have the sand and they have like the rake sand I don't know what that's oh, yeah, called that's though cool. I forget what it's called we'll show we'll show that I think the Japanese garden is probably your favorite. The favorite, yeah. I think it's my favorite too. We'll find the little raked rock garden that she mentioned. It should be up here. <laughs> oh, all right, look at these guys. I'm glad we walked by before they came. <laughs> <laughs> they came out of nowhere, so. Ah, did you get that? The one ran after the other one.
I gotta say, it is getting a little hot in these face masks, and then the uh, glasses keep fogging up. Well, so. the, we were lucky to have overcast, <clears throat> but now the sun is starting to come out. But luckily, there is a lot of trees and shade, but still, it's getting a little muggy. Yeah, it's getting a little muggy, but, but we're doing it. <laughs> All right. Continue. Continue. Pebble Beach, probably the closest beach we're, <laughs> we're going to get to for a while. Probably. Usually, right here behind Andy, there's a for I think it was a quarter or 50 cents you can get fish food and you can actually feed these giant guys. Yeah. <laughs> but just like water fountains, those are also closed off because they're high touch areas. time you can write your Christmas wish here and leave it. They may even have a Christmas tree yep, in this fountain. Shaw of the Shaw's Garden, Missouri Botanical Gardens. And then in the winter time, it's, but they do a light show, these little black boxes. And then it's on, directed on this building right here. And of course it has music and lights and looks really nice during the winter. I believe so we have some footage of that we can... We, if I could find it, we'll splice the footage in. <laughs> Share. 
So this is the back side of what we believe is Henry Shaw's house. During Christmas time, you can go in. There's like 15 tree, Christmas trees throughout the house. And then there's a, a, a maze garden over here. We're not sure if we could get to it, but we'll yeah, try. And because there's this little house tower you can climb up and look down and watch people going through the maze, but I'm pretty sure that's close. So if you could go up in this little tower, uh, you could look down on the maze right here. rose garden i thought it was going to be closed off but looks like we can actually go through it Let's check it out oh hosta garden over here <laughs> lied earlier. This is the rose garden. Well, we were close. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Gonna have Starbucks. some lunch. Yeah. We usually only eat here around Christmas times. <laughs> yeah. We are starving. Time to eat, man. All right, bon appetit. <laughs> oh. Good. Yep, pretty good. Everything was pre-wrapped and packaged, and our silverware was in a little baggie. Oh, yeah. So everything, everything's good so far. And there's nobody around us. There's nobody. Nobody. Yeah, there's no tables around us. And mine's pretty good. I got the hill sandwich and I'm kind of liking this and I was starving so and Then we have an awesome little fountain behind us Father's Day can't can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there All right, well that was pretty easy. We got through um, the whole garden. It did get a little uh, muggy wearing the mask, but Nothing too bad. We had two raindrops um, so that helped. <laughs> yeah, two raindrops. But so far, pretty easy. One way walk everywhere, and everything seemed to be pretty good. Yeah. So. So I think we're gonna conclude the vlog here. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody.